Hmm. Brian. Yes. I'd like to ask you, if not about what are happy poems, at least what are poems that make you happy? Well, that's interesting. Um, I think the idea of a happy poem would be absolutely intolerable. Um, it's what happens is brought out of that makes one happy. Yes. And so, um, oh, when I was a student at Dakar, I was a student, the poet I probably read most of, most continuously, was Edmund Spencer. And I suppose the end, if you can manage to struggle through it, the end of book one of the Fairy Queen with the great marriage between Red Cross Knight and Una, and the end of the a whole poem as we have it in the mutability cantos, things like that make me happy. Because it's as though you go through a time of trouble um, and suddenly in the face of defeat with a kind of huge... Uh, emotional victory, and I find that very moving, and it makes me happy. Can you say um, a bit more about the end of the book one, or the end of the poem? Well, the end of the poem is uh, to do with the apparent triumph of mutability. Everything changes, everything dissolves, nothing lasts. And yet, nature herself, who is appealed to to confirm that truth, argues that um, things exist in a huge cycle. So that though things do fade, they also, in very similar forms, reappear. And so there is this extraordinary cycle of disappearance and life and disappearance and life. And of course you pray for the time when that cycle will be over. But in the meantime, in the midst of the cycle, what you have a premonition of, almost, is... That sabeos sight, that sight, that sense, as it were, of a final rest behind things. And that I find very moving. I don't apologise for finding moments of supreme happiness um, in poems, I suppose, that could generally be called religious. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you hold the religious view of the poem, advanced by the view of the poem or not. What matters is that sense of um, hope, um, confidence, joy being brought out of a sense of um, trouble, trouble, Ex and that I think is happiness. Example? Oh, the end of um, uh, George Herbert's The Temple, Love Three, for example. So I did sit and eat is one of the lines in poetry which is just about makes me sort of um, weep and go weak at the knees. Okay, um, and you're not offering any apologies for that, are you? No! No, I'll <laughs>